Oh. Can you manage the, uh, just chat? Can you be, like, watching chat? In case anything happens in there. And, um, I'm gonna get... Change the title real quick. Sorry, what was that? No, don't, don't talk. Shush. Uh... They can hear you now, but don't talk. They can't hear me. Actually, they can't hear me. Now they can't hear me. Thank you. 
Hello, ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the VR Master League. My name is Nightfire. I am here with my co-host, not Silent Knight, unlike the my UI says, but in fact the one and only famed member of Globochem Thunderpilot. Thunder, how are you doing today, bud? Uh good man. It's good to be here. I'm really excited about this match. <laughs> Uh, yeah, this should be really exciting. Both teams kind of experiencing some roster adjustments, you know, that are going to definitely play into effect how they, how they do this season. But, uh, yeah, this game should be pretty exciting. This is kind of like the first test, I feel like. I guess actually Dangler's played against Globochem already, so they have been tested, but... Not this season, though, and not with this lineup, so it's definitely interesting to see who they start and, and how they approach this. You know, both teams are very aggressive, and I think that's going to be uh, key here tonight. Yeah, this should be uh, pretty exciting. Popping over to the Danglers roster, we have a full one, eight man. That means they have three subs. It is Expediter, Joe Mama, Luella, Mexicutioner, Rival Man, Nintendo, Sleepy, and Stumpy Nub. Now, that's a pretty stacked squad. That's a lot of good, good ass players on that team. It is. These are all veterans of the game. These are people with uh, over a thousand hours each, I would say, and uh, a lot of good, you know, stealth cappers. So that's something to watch for. I know Lueller can run in there and cap within three seconds. So that may happen tonight. It says they've been a team since season two. So they've actually been around for a while. I, I, I mean, some of these names have been around in a long time. Maybe I just don't recognize them as Dangler players, but Lueller yeah, just, and Sleepy. Faces. Yeah. Yes. And uh, their rivals mob squad over there, we have not quite as big a roster, but they have some subs as well. Our Semper, Nolamite, Plots, Pupachu, Squigookin, and STB House. That's still a pretty stacked roster. That's still basically the same roster they were going in with at ESL. Yeah, and actually, you know, some of the power players at ESL were Nolamite and Plots, and so I'm really interested to see, you know, them playing <coughs> together. We don't know what their starting lineup is, but it could potentially include both of them, so. Yeah, I think it should, I think we should see some... Yeah, man, that's going to be interesting. We should see some pretty solid plays out of these teams. Uh, I think right now they're just starting to kind of conglomerate into the uh, League Voice, so I'm assuming we'll be getting into our uh, series shortly. Do you have a password, perhaps? Yes, I PM'd it to you. Okay, excellent. So yeah, we are going to be hopping into this match. If you can just give us your casters one second, we'll be getting into things shortly. Definitely not this song, though. <laughs> oh, sorry. Hold on one second. Hey, they don't have spectating spots on this one. Hold on. Let me message them. All right, go give it, go in there and give them a message. Tell them, tell them what for. <laughs> bit like herding cats sometimes, folks. Thanks for stopping in and hanging out on the stream. It should be very exciting. I'm really looking forward to casting this round. This is going to be one of the better series of the season so far. I think we've actually had some really good matchups already, like insanely competitive rounds coming out of teams that I wasn't expecting them. Um, but I'm really excited about this because I'm expecting more calculated plays. kind of want to see some planned out stuff from Mob Squad or Danglers. Both of them, I think, are teams that are going to be busting stuff out like that during this season, so. Yeah, no, it's it's crazy to get this matchup so early. I don't know if we expected it, but it's definitely one that I think we all wanted to see. Yeah, I'm looking forward to a lot of matchups that we have uh, this week, actually. A lot of really good... Uh, a lot of really good matches today. We have uh, this week... This weekend, we have G-Men vs... All these I think are getting casted, too. G-Men vs. Mob Squad. Uh, Stone Cold Killers vs. Global Chem. That'll be a first sto test for Stone Cold Killers. SMC Tactical vs. Great Apes. Great Apes have been playing pretty well this season, so that'll be interesting to see how they fare off. I mean, it's good stuff. I'm pretty excited to see where we go from where we go at this, where this league. It's a wild season. Man. Yeah, man. It really is. Uh, give me one yeah, second while I hop in. Yeah. Same password.
Is that Luella's hosting it? Yeah. On tanker, huh? Yep, we are starting on tanker. Holy moly. Well, this is a fun one to cast, considering the uh, restrictions on your vision. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I think we have to use the, be ready to utilize the flashlight attachment in here. Yeah, for sure. All right. Okay. Yeah, let me set up team names, etc. <clears throat> we have Danglers on the Marsoc side. SMC Tactical. Sorry, lol. Uh, <laughs> wow, my brain just went to a different place. Mob Squad on Volk. I'm pretty excited to see how Nintendo plays. I haven't really been watching him in League. I've really only been seeing him in, like, I guess the sporadic comp lobby here and there. Yeah, you know, we he showed up on the scene in comp lobbies and... He was picked up by Danglers uh, rather quickly. He wasn't able to play last season just because of the cutoff dates. But um, yeah, it's going to be very interesting to see how he integrates. He's got really good map awareness. He's, he's very aggressive at times, but not all the time. So I'm yeah, I'm excited. He play yeah. He can play. He's one of those guys that, like in my opinion, can almost play at a speed that pants can in comp lobbies. Like I've seen him have very high kill lobbies where he's playing really aggressively in your face style that I think right. is really nice. And it's similar it's similar to Pants in that he has very good map awareness. He's listening, he's actively, you know, looking at his surroundings and I think he's making a lot of different choices based on that. He's not always aggressive, but he looks for those openings and he's very good at that. So it's definitely like a style of gameplay that I think has evolved re relatively maybe recently, but like in competitive lobbies you're just seeing players play really fast but at the same time oh we're it's like we're out of this lobby oh are they recreated again maybe we're not on tanker okay maybe we were just doing tanker as a uh maybe that's what they were doing their pick bands i'm not sure okay i'll see if they've remade it okay thank you i had uh, i don't know why i just alt tabbed out of the, or escaped out of the game i should have just left the lobby but that's all right fire it back up here so, yeah, I want to see what the map ban. I want to know what their map bans are. I Maybe mean, I can phone in Luella or see what he see if he, if he has the ad info. Uh, what are pick bans? Yeah, I'm very interested to see that. We got um, Danglers as home team, so that's gonna play a factor for sure. Yeah, just kind of reminder of the format of these rounds. You have one guy that can, or sorry, one team ban. Both teams ban a map, and then. Uh, Home picks the first map? Yes. And away picks the side, or uh, I guess home picks the map or the side. And then Correct, yeah. whatever one you don't take, the opposing team gets to choose, so. Yeah, so the home team gets the first and, and third map or side choice. It looks like we're gonna be on a little uh, bizarre. Okay, interesting. Which I'm a little bit more excited to cast, honestly. <laughs> I, you know, <laughs> as, uh, as good as uh, tanker is. I just think it's hard to spectate uh, in, in the current format. Just by watching with the flashlight, it makes it a little bit tough to, tough send to you hop a link into. Real quick. It definitely does. Yes. <laughs> also, I almost have. I don't think I have much control over in lobby comms. I don't think I can turn those off or on unless I'm out in the map. It's kind of interesting. Yeah, for me, I'm just going to leave them off. Uh, we have, on the Marsoc side, it still is going to be Danglers, and on the Volk, it still is going to be Mob Squad. I kind of want to see, uh, do you know what, what is, what is Mob Squad's, uh, record so far this season? Have they won both their rounds? So uh, this is, they actually had to postpone for the first week, and so this right. is technically their first match of the season. Okay. <clears throat> that's why they have two schedule. Okay, that makes sense now. That's why they're facing Danglers and then G-Men later on, on Saturday. That makes sense. Right. Okay, I was trying to figure out how they could have had two scheduled matches, and I totally forgot that they had postponed their match. Um, yeah, this will be kind of interesting to see how hard they come out coming from the ESL tournament. Because they're a really good team. They're, like, they're, like, they're, they're the kind of guys that I could see that really crack down. 
you know, and learn something from their mistakes. No, I agree. And people think that the roster changes might be bad, but like this, look at this, this uh, lineup they have. They've got an All Might, Semper, Pubachu, STB House, and Spagookin. I mean, I think it's a really well balanced team. They've got some good <clears throat> aggression. They've got some defenders like Semper. So I, I would, I would never ever count them. It's out. such a, it really is like a really disciplined team. They're all. They're all such like disciplined players, you know. At at, at ESL, I felt like those guys are really very, yeah. very There's focused just on the game. They will not let you get away with, you know what I mean? And, yeah. Yeah, it'll right. be interesting to see what Danglers can do. We should be hopping into this pretty shortly. We have a full roster. You know, to kind of go over on on the Danglers side, we have Luella, Stumpy Nub, Nintendo, Executioner, and Riboman. That's a really good roster. Like going up against that roster in a comp lobby, you're in trouble. They've got a lot of dynamic players. Riboman is their gunner, you know what I mean? He's, he's got really good LMG skills, and he's he's a good shot with those guns. And so you have to really, you think, oh, it's safe because he's just suppressing me like most players. But no, he'll take you out. Yeah. <laughs> I haven't. I feel like I haven't seen, I know Executioner is such a longtime player, but I feel like I haven't seen him lately. Maybe it's just my lobby choice, but... I know someone on my team had broken one of their headsets. It might have been him because I I think you're right. Maybe it was it was him or someone else that just had an absence for a couple months. Okay. But uh, but yeah, he is a long time member. So. Okay. <clears throat> well, you know, it's like riding a bike. Honestly, the matter of learning new spots is challenging. But yeah, if After you can shoot hundred hours, yeah, for sure. If you can shoot the if you can shoot the gun, then you're then you're gonna be in a okay shape. You know. Like we're starting on this uh, south objective. Yeah, this is one of those. I don't know. It's it's a, it's you can play this so interestingly. If you if if they if Danglers come at this with a really fast approach and smoke that street, like you can play this so aggressive depending on your spawn. Yeah, because you often get that west spawn, and you can just barrage the street with smokes and cross it immediately. And and there's so many things you can do from there. So yeah, you have different sorts of levels inside that middle building, different stair, you know, different levels yeah. to approach from, all sorts of windows to be peeking through, nades to toss, you can hop you down. You can go for the ninja story. cap, you know what I mean? There's so many strategies once you get across that street, and you can play it as slow or fast as you want, um, as long as you can cross. <laughs> One thing I really like is the tailored match, the tailored maps, like handmade maps from, this, from, these, from these guys, because you look at stuff like this box over here by objective, and you think to yourself, oh, it's just kind of a nice little random art piece. But that literally opens up all sorts of prone capping opportunities by that by that objective. If you can get up over there and prone, by, like you're avoiding blue room being shot at, you're getting close enough for a cap, it's like... It's pretty crazy. Like, I've looked at the terrain and how things are laid out in a lot of maps, and, and it's like, you think, oh, they just got really lucky. No, they designed these maps very well. <laughs> yeah, it's, it's really fun. And... The wood penetrated right. in the middle of the map. Yeah, it's gonna be exciting to see. We'll see what kind of spawn they get. <clears throat> We're gonna be under the way. This is week two, season five of the VR Master right. League. Anglers versus Mob Squad is starting. Yeah, my map starts off bug. Great. What do I, what are you in echo with Squiggy? Guys, there's a little bit of a mess. You didn't mute himself on this one. Did you not mute yourself, Squig? I think we're gonna be off to a pretty uh, a pretty hot corner over here. I think these guys are gonna be pushing. Uh, they're kind of holding up over on that east side. This might actually be a little bit of time before we run into any action here. Yeah, you don't want to run in too quick. You've got plenty of time. You're not that far from the objective, so everyone kind of pushing up to there to that street, getting into defensive positions, waiting to see. If I mean, what? I don't know what you'd be waiting for here, though. You're, you're not going to get a pick or anything. You have to cross. No. Here comes the smokes. Oh, Executioner. This is so risky, you're making this cross right here. They have such a long lane, lane of sight to look at you. I think he does yeah. make it pretty safely. Rival man, too. They're going to run into Squigookin over here on this east side. Well, they're trying to do some suppressive work yeah. towards that middle objective building. Not landing any shots, just kind of some friendly, hey, how's your mother? Yep, I would really pay attention to this east push over here. You got Stumpy Nub and Rival Man and Nintendo all coming from that side. 
Stumpy Nub. He's over on the uh, west side. Oh, oh that's, yeah, that's something. I'm sorry. That's, who is this on the east side? <laughs> yeah, use names because I'm trying to pop the first person yeah, cam. Executioner. Executioner. He's on the southeast corner right now. Right. Yeah, and he already has one pick over there, so Dangler's looking pretty good. If you have this backside, I mean, what are you oh, going to do? Oh, Man takes that one at objective. And now he's just suppressing there. That's such an easy angle to peek to. You can see through those. Shots bringing out. And you can easily get back just the same from there, but he's got it under control with that suppressive fire, so. Yeah, that's really good timing. Weller's well, actually gonna pop up on the top floor. He drops down and grabs Ooh. one inside. He's oh, inside yeah, now. Yeah, I think he's capping. Yeah, he's capping. He's on the corner. This is free. Rubitute does not know what Oh capping. my gosh. Danglers with a bang off start against Mob Squad. Oh, actually, they don't get it in time. Executioner trades on the backside. He didn't cap it? No. He was there. He was there for a long time. Okay. Well, that's well good good for Mom Squad, because that was they were there for at least twenty seconds or something like that. Wow. Poopa Chu pushed off the Wow, that's interesting. He pushed off that backside and got that and got traded. Yeah, good thing. I, I guess they weren't communicating that they were capping because they could have easily he was too far away, I think, even with for this, had, uh, it was interesting too, is he was in his spot for a while there, so you'd think you'd have your pad out, you'd be looking at your pad, trying to keep get all the information you can. That's one of the newer strategies you see now at this patch. People are yeah, they'll keep that pad on the ground and just have it yeah, as a, for sure. something to look at for information. And I mean, we're pretty conditioned to look at our tablets when you hear gunshots in general, just to see whether you're the last one alive. So I, yeah, I don't know what happened. Either way, Dangler's coming out real hot. That was five, there were five men alive on objective. <laughs> that's, uh, yeah. that's a really good start. They had a good push. They had two coming up the center from the east. They had those two in the west, and then that one coming from the south. And I think they converged at a really good time. Those smokes came out. You know, Rival Man came down here. The milk truck started suppressing. He got one. It was a good sequence of events for them. They just didn't have the coverage on this street. And I think they got punished for it. They were kind of hanging back too close on objective, watching their flanks. And they, I mean, he had to cross this street and not be shot is so, is so huge. It's such a hard street to cross. Yeah, definitely. Right on objective, there's all sorts of windows to be looking at you, all sorts of angles that are looking at you. But he got it for well, free. I think it, yeah, the variability of position they had was making you know the mob squad people look different ways at different times, so they were able to cross because you know what I mean they weren't they weren't fixed on certain areas, and uh, I think they just made little cracks and, and opened up and went in. But that objective definitely leaves that possibility every time. So yeah, we'll see how uh, <clears throat> mob squad decide to answer back. It's not as devastating as a cap. They're very lucky. And uh, they get a... Is that the same spawn? I think it is. Yep. So we should have a similar sort of planned approach. See if they break off 3-2. Yep. Pretty much the same setup. I feel like this is such a meta setup to have your... It I mean, yeah. how else do you? How else are you gonna spread? You don't really need that many covering west. Actually, Nintendo nope. kind of getting pretty aggressive. This is a really aggressive corner to peek. Oh, grabs Ooh, one, really nice. One's one on the corner by the tank. Yep, so you can take it out immediately. That's a tough yeah. pick, but look at over here. Yeah. About to have an encounter over here in the southeast. Okay. Nice. Poop -a -poop -a take it out, Weller. Get that patience there. You don't want to rush right up there because, you know, with the spawns, they can get there just as quick. Oh, he's going to get a... Oh, I thought that was going to be a team kill there for a second. One yeah. in the middle, one in the middle. But they, where you are. Yeah, they know one's one in the middle. middle. Okay, he's been called out. Nintendo is in a good position to stop this push on the southeast, though. He just needs to bide his time. He's very close to them, and I think he knows it. Yeah, Nintendo peeks the oh, corner. Oh, Nintendo taking out my house. Oof. This is good for Mob Squad. They're making good picks. They've got two down already, and they're slowly progressing up that southeast corner while their guys in the center just wait for an opening. 
Yeah, those early picks uh, east are huge. They can pretty much have this whole street now to push down, and there's su such a lack of coverage on the street. Ribo man Definitely. actually picks one. Semper about to be trading with him. Peeks that corner and doesn't yeah, get anything. Yeah, Nolamite just went down. Semper's still up over there. He's got to be very careful. Because he knows that they're close and they're looking over there. So he has to, you know, he cannot move right away. Yeah, Ribo man. If he peeks out again, Semper is looking right dead on him. So. Yeah, I think their key to victory is the people in the southeast. If they can make a good push, but House needs to, you know, get closer to Poopachu. Poopachu is he's holding back a little bit. Yeah, he, he dropped back to that down Volk and salvaged a uh, a smoke grenade. I think he's going to rotate okay, around yeah. to his teammates over here and try and help him out with some coverage. Well, they have plenty of time. I just hope that they're, you know, they have a plan for that southeast because I, I think that they have a good opening there. I mean, as you can see, there's no one on the south wall until you get towards the west. You know what I mean? They're, they're, like, you've got execution over the west, but other than that, I don't see anyone on the south. Yeah, I know. They have decent coverage on that street crossing, so it's going to be hard for them to make it over there for free. They're going to have to cross over through that ice cream truck area while well, STB House over here just gets this completely free push. Rival man getting a little antsy. We've got Semper moving up the milk truck. He's he's going to encounter Rival Man if he keeps going that way. Or perhaps Stumping Up, because Stumping Up is religiously looking at this corner and trying to see if anyone is crawling there. If he sees Semper, he will die. Yeah, Rival's got to stay put, or else Semper is going to hear it, though. I think Semper's got to have Semper's, an idea. Yeah, Semper hears Rival Man, and I'm pretty sure he knew he was in there anyway, because he had already killed an All Might. Oh, man, if, if Semper could get this sneak up. That would be huge. Yeah, having this blue room is a really nice pick. Rival man with the peek. Oh, oh so close, man. Uh, <laughs> oh, he does peek against Semper there. Semper landed one on Ribo, but now that should be information for Poop. But you, Rival man's still going to be holding that angle, so it's going to be hard for Poop to approach from there. Yeah, that's rough, man. Because that would have, I think that would open it up for Mob Squad. It's going to be up to STB House on his backside. Yep. And we've got Poopachu moving up to where Semper was, which I think is always a risky move to move to the same pathway where an ally died, but you know, see what he does with it. Yeah, at this point, I mean, the thing about that is, I don't think he, that Rivalman expects another one to come from that way, you know what I mean? So, I don't know. Yeah, the whole Volk squad is pretty much in panic mode, they're all moving very fast. I don't know, yeah, I guess Executioner is still curious about that flank. Yeah, which makes sense. Okay, Pupachu is giving away his position by smoking. I'm interested to see what he intends to do with that. I mean, this is going to grab the attention of Stumpy on the backside. Super exposed, and then Executioner uh, getting punished answers. for punishing him on the backside. The shots from Rival Man towards Pupachu. Pupachu is the last man standing. Just suppressive fire through the smoke. We'll see what Poop can do. He's going to try and push up towards Milk. Too aggressive with those shots and gets punished out in the open of the street. Dangler's coming out 2-0. Not a bad attempt from Mob Squad, but they, had a, they, they started so good. Yeah, those two picks at the beginning were huge. If they had just maybe followed it up with some with some faster smokes on objective, maybe really kind of overwhelmed them a little bit more with that 5-3 advantage, could have been a different story. It's true, because there was like a, a gap in action there after that happened, you know what I mean? And I think that Dangler's kind of settled down after that and took positions that were it, working. Yeah, if you allow him to rotate, then you're going to obviously be in better defensive spots. If you can catch him during the rotation, that's your best bet. So. Yeah, Dangler's definitely. coming out hot, though. I, not, I was not expecting 2-0 out of them from on Mob Squad so early, especially in Bizarre. Well, I guess they've been practicing this map, and you know they picked it, so I assume they had some some things up their sleeve for it, and I guess that's what we're seeing. And, and now they got the mini market objective coming up, so that's going to be an, you know that one is is not easy to defend. <laughs> no, and the, depending on the spawn point, you can have such an aggressive push down that middle street. Yep, they can be there very quickly. Could see some very early action, or some a bit slower pace if they're on the other side of that street. We'll see what they end up doing. I think, uh, I don't know. Danglers are play, have been playing pretty fast, so I expect them to be fast on this Marstock push. It'll be kind of interesting yeah, to see. Yeah, they're, they're very aggressive, you know, and they, they love that sort of, they love to push it from the start, and so if they can get on you right away, I think that's how they win. Especially as Marstock. 
mob squad trying to hash out a coherent strategy for this defense. Mm -hmm. A nice new addition of the recent patch is we have drawing boards in the lobbies now, so you have these teams taking their time between rounds now. <laughs> <laughs> putting down strategy, discussing positions, it's such a nice, it's a really nice thing to have. Frankly, it should be something as a squad you do prior to the match, you should be prepared, but it's nice to have on the fly if you want to change up a new strategy. I know Pants was creating strategies for you guys in ESL. Yeah, the Grand Finals, we were actually coming up with someone on the board, so I guess you actually, we had never used it that way before though, so, right. but I, yeah, you can. Which is nice, because you never could plan on that level before a map, you know what I mean? Go right. into the third round of the first map in this three map series. A lot of terminology for you right there in one spread, but I've memorized it. You're welcome. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, Mob Squad is not phased by this. They're they're showing confidence, shaking this off. It's yeah. good. They've got mental toughness and I think that's gonna it's gonna do them some favors in this match. Yeah. Uh, and Danglers with this fast spawn, kind of playing it a little slow. I guess they have one point man Nintendo. Kind of up front. And then I'm I'm looking at Stumpy Nub over here in the West Market. I think he's going to try and poke in here and take this block. And that's a huge way to get into the objective block. Yeah, that one's nice because you have better uh, angles for t to tossing f uh, frags and smokes on objective. It's hard to Definitely. get a good smoke on that objective. Cause just because of the way the buildings and alleyways work, you have to be pretty exposed if you want to toss one. Yeah, there's a couple walls that kind of interfere with that. But uh, So Stumpy Nub and Nolamite are kind of... I mean, they're looking in the same direction, but they have not noticed each other just yet. STB House maybe spots one in the cross, actually tags Lueller. Oh wow, okay, Lueller is down and dead. That, oh. that was a risky spot for House to be in, and he has retreated smartly. That's a good pick for him. I have to give that to him. Like, you take that position, you get the kill, and you move. Like, you do not stay Ooh, there. Ooh, Nolamite getting picked on the back end by Mexecutioner. I think he was distracted okay. by those shots. And... So, Semper knows that Mexecutioner is here. But, I don't know if he's gonna go that way. Meaningless That's suppressive shots out man. there. Yes. Yeah, no. <laughs> Semper gonna run into on this garbage truck. Here's the radio comms! The guns come up and it's a trade. Happens quite often Ooh. in this game. If, if Stumpy can pick mechs up before they get over, well, they're probably not gonna... I don't know, do you think they know that it was a trade? Yeah. Oh. oh, he's trying to double tap him. That's awesome. Oh, Stumpy never goes down! Poopachu might have just saved this round because he's about to double tap an executioner. I think. I don't think he knows Mexicutioner is dead. I think he's being very cautious, which I find to be. He's gonna run into Rymo. Oh. Gets the pick on that north side. Really oh, nice. That's job. so rough because now he's gonna get that pickup. <laughs> wow. Yeah, and look at that utility. They also have now two frags available to him if they pick off that pick up pick that up off the ground. They could really yeah, rain some havoc. Yeah, switching around and giving Nintendo an opening from the south. Yeah. Squigugan has been called out by Nintendo. And Squigugan is down. Not dead. This is all of the house. They're saying to cap. I mean, yeah, they're looking good right now. They have three alive. Mexicutioner on that backside. STB house super distracted by a Ribo man. And Mexicutioner is just going to stroll on in this back end and get a free cap in right here. As long as they don't kill him. As long as STB house doesn't die. I do wonder because yeah, Mexicutioner is getting that cap. Yep. They just yeah. Wow, that's a really nice Danglers map. That's that's that couldn't have gone any better. <laughs> yes, they got a good cap. They distracted him well. Um, I mean that. I mean that whole. I mean that whole map. Every single round, yep. they just really dominated. Yep, their, their plays are just working. Like the timing is on. They're getting the refrags. They're getting pickups that are really, really crucial. Man. That's a that's a that's a heck of a starting round right there coming out of uh, coming out of Dangers. I was not quite ready for that. No, that was a, definitely a dominant round. I would never.
how mobs squat out, but yeah, they're probably not psyched about that. Yeah, you gotta be. Uh, they're, 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 you're right, though. They are a team that can bounce back from this sort of thing, so we'll see what they end up uh, pulling out here on this next map. It looks like we are gonna be on quarantine. Yeah, I would say that if any team can come back from this, it would be Mob Squad. They're very, very strong. And, you know, they've had losses. They don't let stuff like that affect them like some teams do. So we'll see what they see what they have to answer. Danglers again starting off on Marsog. All right, so I guess Mob Squad has chosen Quarantine as their map. Are you hearing me, like, delayed, dude? <laughs> I'm no. I'm wondering because you keep like either talking on top of me or talking before like <laughs> yeah sometimes I start talking right when you start talking okay <laughs> all right so they're just doing some pre planning. gameplay before I forget to switch scenes here. Yeah, this is probably the easiest, I think in my opinion, the easiest objective to defend on this map. Yeah, definitely. Volk has a distinct advantage on this one. It's really hard to, I mean, there's all so many, so many streets you have to cross to get, yeah, I mean, there's no free approach, there's no hidden, the only hidden approach is up the middle of the map so it's like go yeah. through all of the angles that people are watching or try and cross a wide open street your choice yeah i mean the main thing i look for i guess when the map starts is you know is the vault gonna cross to the south to that tower over there or are they gonna not risk it you know what i mean yeah because depending on the, on the spawn the the marsoc can kill that crosser but if they spawn on the north they can't so but you don't really know yeah, and you also definitely want to invest some smokes onto that street. Yeah, for sure. So it's... Oh, it's suicide if you don't. <laughs> yeah, and they're definitely going to have to if they want to cross. Actually, no, if they can't cross that street, this is the north spawn you're talking about. I guess the one of the northwest spawns. I wonder spawns. if they'll risk it, though. You know, because they don't know that, so... Yeah. It looks like they have smokes out. Yeah, they're going okay. to okay, invest good. some smokes on this cross. That's smart. Right. Wow, three smokes. And yet another. All right. Yeah, they have blanketed the street with smokes. I think that's a smart idea. Yeah. Um, you really want a guy at that tower. And I mean, you see that as Marsoc, you, you're instantly already kind of, ah, uh, crap, our south approach is going to be totally defended. <laughs> it's going to be yep. hard to come over here now. Oh, and actually a pick coming through the smoke. Oh. Holy so cow. Two and one dive. Okay. Where did that shot even come from? Wow, that's a tight wow. angle from Rubble. I don't know how he spotted that, but nicely done. I think he was just watching it the whole time. Oh my I, God. I, wow. I don't know what he saw, how he saw through the smoke. Maybe it just wasn't thick enough. It could have even been blind fire. Who knows? <laughs> it doesn't look like blind fire from where he died. All right. He was stumping up trying to go for that long range shot on that back south defense there. I gotta use a smoke to see that out. So they've got Squigookin in the windmill hills. That's pretty important. If he can stay alive, they've got a good shot at defending this. But he's kind of being a little too aggressive. But it could pay off. God, he sees him on. Oh, no, he didn't see him on the corner. He was totally tunneled on the rock. He almost got punished right there. Yeah, he's being ballsy up on that hill. Yeah, and this is going to be the play from Danglers. They're going to really try and force this south approach. I think if yeah. they lose this, it's going to be a really hard for them to cross that north side with how strong it yeah, is. Yeah, Squig is risking a lot by peeking them. If he can hold them up here, it would be a, a huge thing for them. Because they could spend like three minutes here doing this. Well, if he's not careful and he peeks a little too much, he's going to get picked from plane wing. I and mean, he's not looking over there at all, and he gets punished. Oh, man. Just as you were saying it. All right. <laughs> so the south approach has been opened up. 
Yeah, this is what they wanted. This is going to be a hard to defend objective all of a sudden, especially if they coordinate their north approach. Especially if they coordinate their north approach. Is what they're doing right now, radioing into their north side. Yep. Got two on the roof, so they're ready to coordinate. I think they could move up now. Yeah, the Weller was radioing in to have him push north, so they're suppressing shots coming out. Some smoke's coming out north side, and yeah, it's going to be the Danglers. Oh wow. to lose here. Yep, they're converging from the south. You got Riboman, Stomping Up, and Lueller. And then they're still at the roof, though, on the north. Yeah, Semper <laughs> is sat, sat by this wall trying to block himself from north roof, but also block himself from the south approach, all the while seeing the objective. It's a nice spot. And if they don't know he's there, it might, might get a pick or two. Yep, he can't clip through that wall, so that'll be good, and they will not see him. Oh, um, in there. And they Going come. back inside of the two-story. I feel like that's a bit of a riskier position. I think he might have thought that was a grenade. And here comes the suppression. Yeah, the Weller pushing up to that wall right under Semper's nose. Semper has to get and out Semper here. Semper had been there, he could have killed him, but now... Oh, no, he's going to cap. Does Semper just... No, Semper got picked on the back end, and yeah, Danglers coming out with two to start this round off. Wow, they're playing good right now. It was a very good assault on their part. I feel like Mob Squad is just... They're getting picked so early. Yeah, it was, you know, two of them crossed to the south tower on that one, and the one the one that crossed second crossed sort of late, and I think he got, he got uh, called out by them. So they lost him, and then Squigurgan was all alone, you know, in the south windmill hills, taking on four, like three or four guys over there. So, oof. And it has one of the, ah, uh, yeah. If, man, if he had just stayed up against that wall, he would have, he would have caught two right there and totally denied that, that, that push on the south side. <laughs> I know, that was the worst part, is that Semper moved from that spot right before they went in for the cap. He had the I right idea. He could have stopped all of it. Yeah, yeah. he had the right. Man. We should be hopping into this next one soon. Mob Squad really need to pull something out this map. Uh, I think they can. We'll see what they do with this attack. I feel like Danglers might play like an aggressive push middle maybe as Volk. You can kind of catch people off guard that way. I can see Nintendo doing something like that. It's true. And, and I wonder what Danglers will do with this tower, whether they'll take the risk and cross or smoke it or not. Because it, it really depends. Not all teams even look at that tower. So. Yeah, you don't, you don't need to be over there on that south side. You can cover that area from a lot of different angles and other spots. Definitely, definitely. And I honestly think if they just had some guys sitting at stairs watching south or some some more back defense, they would have seen that cross out of south out of that south uh, building by that rock. But you know, semantics. Yeah. What ifs? Ooh, they're gonna go for the same cross, but it's way riskier. Yeah, because they got the south spawn, so that I don't know if they can really make that. Is he gonna do it? He's, he's hesitating. Yeah, I don't think they... He has decided against it, I think. I mean, they're already pushed up to ambulance. Oh, he's moving. Nintendo is... Cro oh. oh, man. This is interesting. I can't... Okay, he has made it. No! Nintendo is down! Man, Mob Squad is playing this so fast. They've already pushed up to this wall. And with this spawn, this is exactly what you can do. You can crash up using this wall as coverage. Squigookin. Oh, man. So aggressively pushed quickly into a 4v4. Yeah, they took advantage of that spawn so well. Oh, and Squig with some good, some well-placed smokes. That's going to definitely deny some coverage. Ooh, a nade coming out towards him. Hits the wall. Wow, missed him. Ooh, okay. Poopchu has gone down. Squigookin managed to back out in time. Wow, and Danglers have definitely kind of shut down this fast push. Yeah. I feel like they pushed up initially, but then there was a couple of the people in Mob Squad that were still pretty far behind. 
Yeah, if they had maybe... They just have no north presence, so it's hard to really cause any distraction over there, and they have that hotel yeah. angle completely covered. Oof. Yeah, that distraction would be nice, too, because any anything to make them look north, you know. I can't believe that our Semper and Squigoo can manage to get across without getting hit there. Okay, let's see. And I don't think the Danglers know that they're there. Not at least right there. I mean... Yeah, they need Nolamite to rotate back to the center and come up there. While Squigoo can... Think, oh, oh, that's, oh take a shot. that's what he's doing. He <laughs> yeah. I wonder if they have enough smoke left in all my stock. Oh my gosh, I don't know how that frag didn't hit Luella. He is so lucky he's tucked into that corner, that wall just barely saving him. That's a really good spot where Luella is. It is, yeah. Alright. Breach is coming. That's the frag is coming out. Squigookin crashing on objective. Luella Ooh, picks one, down, two, down. 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 Ooh, they're all down. It was looking pretty good at the beginning just because they did get Nintendo Crossing. You know, they, they moved so aggressively in the first, like, 30 seconds. It looked like they were making it happen. Yeah. And there was... I got shut down pretty hard by Danglers, and they're really running away with this series now. They've won that first map 4-0, and they're on this one. 3-0 now. They could be looking at... I mean, honestly, they're probably thinking... With this objective, if they get a fast spawn, looking at you're looking at 5-0 potential for a cap there. That cap has been there a lot for them tonight. So, and, and on this objective, it's always open. Oof. Yeah, there's so many. I mean, I guess there's lots of defense. I don't know. I have mixed feelings about this objective. I don't think I've ever capped on it, but I always feel like I can cap on it. Yeah, well, there's always that cap around the corner. You know what I mean? That you can get on either side, I think, and then. You know, you can always rush the interior of that fire room and, and, and cap in there if you're fast enough. It's all about the spawn for the Marsog on this one as to what happens, you know. Yeah. But man, Dangler is coming out hot. Mob Squad are going to need to run. Really start a comeback here. They still haven't gotten on the board. I mean, yeah, definitely. I'm sure, they're trying to figure out a way to get get back in here. I mean, they're seeing the style, so I, they're having opportunity to adapt. But you know, it's man, it's already it's already match point, so yeah. it might not be enough time. You know what I mean? They might have to do a rematch with them at some point in the season. See if they can fix some of this. Yeah, match point and series point. Yep. Although, I guess that doesn't matter much these days. It's all about winning the maps and getting as much points as you can. Well, I guess for placement matches, it's a little more important just because everyone's trying to get a, a high MMR. Yeah, and they get that crater spawn, so they're not going to be able to approach it very quickly. It will be a bit of a little bit drawn out push, you would think, from Danglers, but we'll see how they decide to go yeah, with I'll this one. I'll take the roof and I'll provide cover yep. fire for a while, just yeah. suppressing. Yeah, it's going to be a couple of minutes before we run into action. These guys kind of laying out their plan. Quick can watching that far south side. Yep, looks like they're going to take the northwest approach. I mean, it's, this, is, this is all free. You know you're not going to run into anybody along this north side right now with that spawn. Maybe you'll, get, you'll catch somebody on this west ho this west uh, hotel over there in that corner, but... It's possible, yeah. It's unlikely, and, and you know, That's... if it is, I think they could deal with it, but they don't expect it, you know. Yeah. It looks like... Noah might maybe spotting one on the roof. Yep. You know, Rival Man has taken his overwatch position at the roof, so he can suppress. And he's got his sights set right on the objective. I think he just wants to cause chaos over there. Yeah, he's really suppressing. 
causing up a ruckus. All the while, this whole west side approach is so free. Yep. The first one they will just encounter at, uh, is middle. someone waiting for uh, them burning. in that west alley. Yeah. I don't know. House. Nintendo just got a pick at Burning Building. Ooh, but Ooh. I like this position from STB House Rough. inside that bush. I know, that little bush. That is interesting. I have not seen that before. <laughs> I don't think anyone's going to be looking here, and they're not at all. He's tucked in there. He could get... Dude, I don't know if you could see him, yeah. He could get two right here. Execution and Stumper are so exposed. Yeah, he hasn't oh, seen wow. He hasn't seen them, though, because he's in the bushes himself. <laughs> uh, oh, my gosh. He has the... It's sort of a double-edged sword. Free uh, shot. But he'll probably see Stumpy now, right? You would think! Yeah, Stumpy is dead. Wow. The funny thing about that was that Stumpy saw him right at the last second. Hey, I'm still up. I got two damage. That was Stumpy we lost. Yeah, Mexicutioner was uh, lucky enough to get that fast snapshot. Yep. And I'm just... Oh, keep in mind, that house is just down, so you can give information. Weller... Ooh, almost gets picked. Does get picked trying to cross a burning. Squigookin with a nice shot. He's been suppressed all game, so I'm surprised he managed to peek out there and get a kill. Yep. Ooh. Another one down in the west. Execution are doing work. I think this guy was, uh, yeah, I think one of them was trying to pick up STV house, and he got uh, picked. I can't believe Semper doesn't see him over there scavenging that body. He does see the, the, <laughs> the suppressed the LMG on the roof. Now it's quickly a 2v3. Spotsman it. Oh, okay, he hit a temper, so I know he's there. Yeah, and now it's a 2v2. Semper's got to fall back, but he's going to play it aggressively and look for that pick. He's got two on this side. Let's see what he can do with this. I like that rotation. Yeah, definitely. Peeking out, grabs Max, looking for a Nintendo. I don't think oh, he knows Nintendo's there, though. Here. Yeah. That refrag is hot, and uh, if he can shut it down here, we can make a comeback, maybe. Right. Nintendo is looking over there. Oh, he just doesn't quite see. Oh, he sees the head peak now. He knows he's on two-story. <laughs> the trade. Semper also spotting him. A little cooked in a, a little razzle-dazzle. I don't think that's going to land on him. Nintendo is moving. Semper also moving. He hears the footsteps Semper will now. probably... Well, okay. <laughs> A little ring around the rosy. Semper peeks oh. out with the shots. Nintendo peeks out. They have no idea where each oh, other are. No. <laughs> okay, now it is a 1v1. <laughs> Pujugan has heard that kill. He is waiting for someone to come out of that block. Yeah, he's playing the defensive position there, the one overwatching objective, and he, I think he knows that, may, that, I don't know if he knows there's only one left, though. That is, yeah, that is the thing, like, it, mentally, if you think there's more than one up, you're going to play differently than if you think, you know what I mean, so, oof, hope his team called them out. I mean, he's holding that angle pretty tight, so I think he probably has an idea that there's only one guy left. Yeah. It's true, he's not, like, pacing around or anything. Uh-oh, Nintendo, he peeks this corner. Not looking. Oh! Okay. There you go, Squig. Really nice job from Squig again. Nice defensive yeah, hole. Right. Mob Squad needed that one. Yeah, they did. <laughs> and that was really close. They almost lost the map right there. <laughs> Down to a 1v1. Uh, we'll see if they can come run it back now. Scoreboard is broken, but I have a fantastic fix for that. <laughs> and, uh... Yeah, finally Mob Squad on the board. That's their first point of the entire series. They've been down 7 to nil. We'll see if Danglers can uh, shake that off, because, I don't know, there's so much... It's so interesting to see how teams react to losing and winning and how they how they utilize momentum, and I feel like you can get into a to this trap where you start to feel confident in your rounds and then all of a sudden you start to lose. Yeah. Things can turn quick, for sure, in this, especially in this game. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, and with this objective too, Mod Squad definitely, they can play it as good as they did that first 
objective, I feel like they have a pretty good shot. Yeah, they might, like, be starting to find their footing. Right. So. But that match was very close. I guess all, all the rounds have been pretty close. A couple of yeah. kicks each time. Except for that, well, that's not, that's not, on Bazaar, they really... Dingers, Dingers really gave them the what for, but... That was quite a dominant round, yeah. <laughs> you know, but th you know, this is why we do best of threes. If people take time to adapt to, to teams sometimes, we'll see what happens. Oh, yeah, and as a player, too, it can take a little bit to get warmed up sometimes, too, so it's kind of maybe mob squad not coming in fully prepared. Maybe they weren't loose enough for this round. For sure. Honestly, I wouldn't be expecting this well of a performance out of Danglers, so maybe that caught them off guard as well. You know, Danglers has been practicing a lot with this new lineup, so I think people need to look out for them. Yeah, they're playing on point. And you know what? We have this fast south spawn. Anything can Ooh. happen here. I am very interested to see how they approach this one. Yeah, they're going to stack all five. Oh, I like this. They're going to put Nolamite and Semper up on the hill, which is a spot you just don't really see is, that's taken on this objective. Oh, wow. That's clever. So you have your nice overwatch, and then you're close. You're basically completely free to push this, knowing that your your teammates in the backside have you covered. Yeah, and from flanks, too, from behind in the, in the ambulance. And a handful of smokes coming out here. This alerts you instantly, though, that it is a south spawn, so the team can rotate yeah. accordingly. It was nice, though, because they waited a bit for the smokes, and, and Danglers had already kind of spread out, you see, on the map. I don't know if those are really good smokes at all, either. I mean, one on There's objective. Yeah. Ooh. Oh, two, two go, down, go down by grenade. Oh, no. Oh, no. <laughs> STB house can get up there and get a res, though. Squig will... They can both be res. Yeah, I don't think Danglers know that, so that's good. And that is the risk with throwing long range grenades. You may not hear it when you land. All right, two pickups. Wow, that was really. <laughs> if they <laughs> had, if they had followed up with another frag, it would have been a different story. So. Yeah, you don't want to be down three to five already. The first All right. Now they're kind of shoehorned in. All five members have crossed over to this building. One up on the yep. plane wing. And they're slightly being surrounded, you know, if you see them at center burning, and because they have zeroed in on them, so. Yeah, I think Nolamite's trying to deny that. And they've used, like, I think they've used three smokes already. Another one coming out. I mean, how many more do you have? Yeah. Unfortunately, the first round of smokes didn't really do what they wanted them. Yeah, and I don't think this round is doing anything either. One getting picked at rock. Man, Stumpy doing some serious work on that corner with the frag and now a pick there. Yep. Man, he's feeling good on that rock. Nolamite trying to grab one and he's getting suppressed heavily. I don't think so. Yeah, they just do not have options. Next to the green on the left in the middle of the street. And they're getting more limited as the round goes on because of this. Nice corner oh, frag. Down by nade. I wonder if they even have any more syringes. I think Nolo has one on him so that they can actually use that to get a res. Yeah, he does. Ooh, another picked on the backside. Our separate trying to get one in the middle building. Doesn't land the shots. Poopachu looking for one yeah. in the middle. Spots him and gets it. Finally, a pick from Mob Squad. If they could take out the other guy at center burning, yeah, the they might be able to push, but he's got it locked down pretty tight. Yeah, they need to get this res up first. I think they can. I don't think... Yeah, okay, they're good. Wow, he almost got shot crossing, though. <laughs> I'm going to cross again and try to come from the center. Such a volatile spawn. Upachu, I think, is going to try, try, try and cross from center. I don't know what Nolamite's doing there. A little gun malfunction. Oh my if he crosses God. the center, Luella is going to see him. Oh, oh he's ducking. See that? Yeah, this is some good moves by him. He manages to get right behind these barriers. Okay, he actually could make this work. Yeah. Oh! Oh! Getting double punished. Both members looking right at him, and he gets picked trying to make a move. Yeah, he got called out, and then more than one eyes were on him, so it's, you know. 
Another trade happening south here, so it is a 3v1. And it's all up to Semper. This is map point here. And they know where he is, so that's going to limit what he can do. Yeah, he definitely has to cross. I think he has to go to through burning. Would be your best approach here. But yeah. I don't think he's going to rotate all the way around. He's not out of time, but he's running out of time. Yeah, minute 45. We'll see. <laughs> I don't envy him. It's just, it's not a fun situation to be in. 3v1, 130 on the clock. I think whoever's that, I think Lueller there keeps peeking up over the wall too. Yeah, he yep. is. And that's such a good, I mean, no one is looking there to catch anybody. And he has such good vision. That's a nice little spot there. Yeah, it's not one of those spots you automatically look for when you're looking for defenders, so he's got an advantage there. Semper is going to run into some action over here. He's either yep. going to get an execution no or choice. not. Oh! And he is taken down. Yeah. Very good attempt. Max. Semper, Max was holding that angle so tight, and even if he got him, Nintendo's there. Would have been a tough oh, one. Know. That's a tall you know, wall to climb on that one. So you got three up on that objective. Yeah. And you're locked in the south, right? You can't even go north. <laughs> yeah, Dangler is proving they're definitely a team to watch. Two maps now in this series. We're going to go into the third because we play the third regardless, but they've won the series and uh, they've been doing it in pretty dominating style. Yeah, really nice job. And um, we'll take both. I'm very impressed with some of the plays they've made. We'll I think we'll they're finally that. finding, you know, ways to lock in their their skills as individuals to into a team. So yeah, they've been a team for a while, you know. And you, you know, the, even though they've lost the series, points do matter. That's all about MMR in this, and MMR being matchmaking or rating. And I think uh, the more points you lose slash win, the higher MMR you win or lose. Yep, there has been a soft reset of the MMR this season, so everyone's trying to get as much points as you can, you know. Yeah, so Mob Squad definitely want this map. Like, you don't want to just, like, even though you've lost the series, you're not just going to throw away your third map. It does mean something. You do want the points on this map. And you want to make a statement, you know what I mean, that you don't go out, you know, without a fight, so. Yeah. Maybe Mob Squad warming up a little bit. Getting one, getting on the board there in that last map. See what they can do on cargo. I think this is Dangler's pick though, and I'm not really surprised by that. This team plays so fast, yeah. so aggressive. This map just, you know, all it is is fast tight angles. Yeah, and they got some of the volatile spawns like this last one. So, <laughs> oof, it's not gonna be very unforgiving with those. Mob Squad are going to be looking for an answer back, so should be hopping in pretty shortly. Both teams readied up and ready to rock. Oh, cool. We're going to cargo. Yeah. Yeah, I don't know. I don't know what to expect at this point. I think I think I think we're going to see a pretty pretty thorough punishment by Danglers here. I haven't been looking at kill scores either. I don't know if you have been peeking at that. I wish I had. I, been. Yeah, I glanced at it last round. Who was um, who was top there for Danglers? I wonder. I believe Stumpy Nub was one of their top performers as far as kills. Interesting. And you know he's got an interesting style. He's aggressive and he's erratic, and so you have to be really careful when you're when you're around him. You know what I mean? And, He's, he's been known for ambushing players at certain areas of the map. He's, that's kind of his style. Yeah, he is a very skilled player. Now, it looks like uh, I think James made some nice aesthetic adjustments to the map here, making it much easier to see at night, or in the dark, rather. Oh, yeah, it looks great. A little touch up, or maybe it's just random on how it handles it, but. <laughs> <laughs> this map is such a wild card. You encounter each other so quickly. You know what I mean? Yeah, these long lanes here you can look down are so dangerous. And they're gonna they get smoked early by Danglers and suppressed. 
Oh. Right. And he's got stumping up with a shield going up the center. Poopa 2 just squeezed through those shots there. <laughs> STB house grabs one. He's looking for another. Man, so much gunfire. Another one down on Danglers. We've got one down on Mod as well. Yeah, confirming STB house. 3v4, but I like this defensive positioning. They're very far back. No one's even close to being pushed up in a position where you yep. get fragged. Oh, but Nolamite getting picked on the backside and Executioner trading. Squigookin getting that, getting that kill, I think. Such an action-packed map. It's like you're looking everywhere. <laughs> yeah. So much going on. Definitely tend to do a bit more Overwatch than first-person cam viewing. Yeah, definitely. Okay, so we've got Rivalman and Stumping Up up here and the north. And I think that... This shield work could pay off, even against three. Three is not is not insurmountable either, and Ribo does or the shield bearer does have a rifle as well, so he's not completely yep. useless. Definitely a three. Yeah, it, you know, you get your shield man to call them out, you pop out and shoot them, and it's a really good combo. So let's see if they can move in with that. Give me a pretty little missile. And again, they have so much time, so. <laughs> Ribo man over. They flink to each other. <laughs> Ribo and Stumpy being very vocal. Yep, perhaps playing mental games or just having some fun. But again, they're right at the objective. They have four minutes, so you don't have to rush this. Yeah, yeah that's very true. Yeah, they got all the time in the world. And Semper, I'm surprised, wasn't peaking at any point during that. <laughs> Oh, that oh, was sick nade. yeah. That was a really nice nade from Rival. They're gonna move off of that. Oh, they're right on his face. Okay. I think you see him dead there too. Actually, I don't know because they're not confirming it, and the res does come out from. Okay, straight. they picked him up. Yep. Yeah. I thought they'd move in after that nade, but they probably don't know it landed. That's right where you want it though. Oh yeah. Semper kind of calling out for a nade. You can almost start to look. I'll consider looking Ooh. around at dead bodies too. Trade. Oh man, that's unfortunate for Mob Squad because the trade went in favor of uh, Danglers. <laughs> yeah, with it, it being a two v two, I like the strategy that I've seen come out of some teams where the shield bear will actually put it on his back and then walk backwards trying to cap. <laughs> that is that is cool. Yeah. Uh, I don't see too many people doing that. I don't know why. It's a pretty good strat. Take some balls to try. I'll tell you that. Stumpy, if he busted that out right now, he'd have to cap. Oh, right side. Actually, Squigugan. Okay, so he, yeah, Squigugan's been called out. They don't know the Poopachu's over here, though. Not yet. And if Poopachu can get a side angle on Stumpy up with that shield, that would be huge. Yeah, and Riboman's playing pretty aggressively, getting up here in the center area. Yeah, he's kind of far away from the shield guy, which is uh, interesting. You'd think that they'd want to... Oh, something goes out! Bobby man running in. I think he's going to pick Stumpy up. Oh, he's not. He's running past him. Wow, I don't know okay. why he didn't... He, the smokes are there, though, so he has... This is interesting. He's going to pick him up. That's unfortunate. Oh! Whoa! What just happened? Uh, did just stab I think though? he did. I think he was reaching for his pad, maybe. And I, yeah, because that's the only way that could have happened. Huh. <laughs> <laughs> well, that's. Right. I mean, he wasn't in a good position anyway. But you know, he, I'm sure he could have done something. Said stabbing himself. So that's unfortunate. That bug is not. Yeah. <laughs> uh, yeah. Right. Those smokes were almost pretty good, too, but they were just not quite far enough to the right. Yep. Poopachu had enough guts to go out there and, and see if they were, you know, still up. So, all right, round one goes to Mob Squad. Yeah. That's what they needed. They're on the board to start off with the lead now. If they can... If can yeah, get... if they can finish the series with a win, I think it would help, you know, their, their uh, morale quite a bit, so. Yeah, and like you're saying, these are placement matches. This is their first map. This is their first match in the in, of the season. So maybe just kind of getting used to the swing of things again. I know Dango's have yep. been playing plenty of games this season already. Let me 
should be hopping in here shortly. Both teams seemingly readied up. Well. Last time Mob Squad opted for the smoke on that lane. Your dangler's dead. I wonder if Mob Squad will do the same. Try and get across. You, you really need to get across for if you want to have a chance on this objective. Yeah, definitely. I see a lot of teams already employing that strategy, and it pays off, so. I mean, it's a lane that you should you either always check and get a pick in, or <laughs> you get smoked and you get nothing. And you can easily get flanked from those types of lanes, and so you always have to be careful of that, too, if you're not looking over there. All right. Yeah, you actually have a, smoke on the left. That's a defensive smoke, too. Interesting. Okay. Let's see if... Blue Eller makes it. Does manage to get across. No one going down in the process. Wow. Okay, STB has some squeak can already in the middle. So, Stumpy Dub is going to probably encounter them quite soon. Wow, Squig can already... Yo, oh, Squig oh takes that Stumpy Dub. Wow, the reaction time on Squig right there. That's so rare you see a peak like that end up with yeah. the... Well, Stumpy Dub had peak advantage, and he yeah. still lost that exchange. Wow. I don't think he was ready for Squig to be there then. I don't think he was. Yeah, I think he knew he was somewhere around there. Frag almost lands on Nintendo. Squig really pushed up. Gets another one. Wow. Okay. And I don't think Mexican sure knows where he is. I mean, the whole team is inside this now. now. Okay, they're all there. Yeah. <laughs> oh, Mexico's wow. down. They cross really fast. Just There's like that. There's only one dangler up left. So. Yeah, four v one. Just under five minutes. <laughs> All the time in the world. I don't think they're missing any smoke, so it doesn't even look like there's any down on that body. So they have those available, and you really don't want to take out Luella here. You want to go for the cap, although it would be really hard to get. It would. <laughs> even with all five or four of them up. It, you know. If Luella was smart, he'd just kind of push himself out in the suppressive fire that comes through. Oh wow, they're just peppering him. <laughs> yeah, and he's in full on final man defending panic mode looking at all the <laughs> yep. angles. He is not peeking, which is smart. Oh man, they take him out. I'm surprised by that. I'm surprised Temper went for the pick there on that backside. Yeah. Maybe, I, uh, I don't know, maybe a lack of communication on their picks, but I feel like they were radioing him in as they were happening, so they definitely knew how many they had down. I think so, yeah. Moves from Mob Squad. Yeah. Hit, hitting their stride in the third map. Yeah. I know. <laughs> a little bit too late. But. It'll give them some confidence for their rematch because they will face these teams again. They always do. Oh, yeah. And, you know, they're, these squads are up there in that. It's like there's almost two halves to the league in terms of teams you'll play. Very Definitely. rarely, I feel like, do the top teams, once they're set, end up playing the lower teams. I feel like that might be different this season, though. We'll see. The season is a lot different. Everyone is seeing, you know, the prize. Everyone's doing different things. So I think anything can happen now. <laughs> yeah, you're seeing a lot of players come out. Old well, players, I think you're going to see players. teams get to the top that were not there before. So Yeah. Yeah, it'll be fun. I'm looking forward to these uh, the rest of these matches, and here we are into our third round of the third map in this series. Danglers have won the first map 4-0, second map 4-1. to one. The Mob Squad are up here 2-0 on this final map. Seeing if they can manage to scrounge one away. STB house. All right. Keeps it, gets Ooh. That shield, man. It looks like they did an early weapon swap. Stumpy already has a rifle. Ooh, but Squig. Wow, look at how aggressive they are on Mob Squad defense. Look at how far up that man died there. <laughs> Rival almost getting picked by a frag. Squigugan's looking there. They're log jamming at the tunnel, though. Okay, they're moving out. Kind of watching the Squig Gook and Ribo Man movement here. Yeah. No, it's going to be important for Squig to hold this position. Oof. Oh, nice. Yeah, that's huge. Now it quickly turns into a 3v3. Oh, 
three, and he has all sorts of different options now. He can get closer to objective, and he you is. You hear them. He's moving towards the tunnel. Oh! Whoa, the frags are flying everywhere. Luella gets picked up by one. Where is he? The flash right on top of you him? You pick him up? <laughs> uh, it's risky. He's right there, but, you know. Yeah, he has the yeah, shield, though. Eyes on him. Yeah, that's good. Oh. Okay, there we go. Pick up made. He's in the booty hole. The precipice. Hey, Ooh, another frag out towards the Weller. No, sorry, that was some stuff bouncing around. I'm surprised Semper hasn't picked this yet. Semper's got good position on the Weller, though. He's going to definitely see him. He does. Wow. Yep. The Weller almost made it through, though. That was really close. Semper just cashing that pick at the last minute. In this building. Yep. All right. It's going to come down to Stumpy and Executioner. <laughs> and again, a shield pair versus two. This is happened once already. Yeah, we'll see what they can do, Stumpy. Oh, another frag. Oh, I keep well, getting... What's interesting is you don't, you don't see the shield guy with the other guy. They're kind of separate, you know? Hey, you silly Billy Goat. Yeah, and a Semper... Oh, I think Executioner heard those footsteps Ooh. the last minute. Oh, man. If Semper can get that flank... Oh, you're right. You're right. He did. Wow, I like the attempt there, but now it's up to a 2v1, and they really have to work together here. They have yep. such a good... I don't know, they're in such a good position here. They, they just have the shield guy come out. Executioner! Ooh. Wow, All right. that was so odd. I don't know why he peeked out. It's like, use your shield! <laughs> use your utility there, but I whatever. Who do, what do I know? It gets him the win. Dangler's now on the board this map. All right, we got Squigookin with six kills doing work, and Executioner with four. Those are the two top scorers on their respective teams. Yeah, it's uh, I don't know. We'll see how yeah. we'll see how Mob Squad reacts because they just lost that round. Dangler's now going into the defensive here, having that vault yeah. advantage. You know, with this map, this is how I actually expected the matchup to go more, like, kind of more close like this, so. Yeah, even then, though, that last round was so hectic. It's so, like, fast-paced and chaotic. It's not what I was expecting. I was expecting more slow and deliberate play from both these teams. Yeah. Not really what we're getting. This map is crazy, though. <laughs> it's true. You see people in, like, ten, you know, like, ten steps you see somebody, so. This is very true. <laughs> And it's very tempting to flank and rush and do other things because it's all these openings right in front of you. All right, here we go. Mob squad up to one. They could get the cap. But yeah, we'll see what they do here. See if they come out aggressively. I like this. There's some interesting spots you can take Kippa over here to defend that objective, but man, these guys playing really aggressive right away. Danglers. Oh, wow. Yeah. Oh, man. One mob down. Will Mex rush the tunnel? Looks like he will. I wonder if Poopachu hears that. I don't see him turning. I think he did hear it. I think he did, yeah. And he knows there was a death there, so I believe he will follow him out. Yeah, he does. And I just, I, I just missed the kill middle, and I just missed the kill on the back. Sorry. Oh man. I know. What am I? What am I any good for? You know. <laughs> that was quick. I didn't even see that one. Yeah, there's been <laughs> trades across the board. STB House now pushed up nicely. He might catch one of these Volk out of position, rotating around. And he does. That's a nice, oh. easy pick. He could catch another. No, he can't. That's unfortunate. He really needed that pick on right. Yep. One mob squad up. Man, look at where Semper is. He's so worried about somebody flanking him. Yeah. <laughs> well, with this map, I can't blame him. I mean, I guess he has four minutes and 50 left, so maybe he's just going to try and play with what he has. Kind of abandon the idea of playing aggressive. Yeah. He's got time. He knows the general area they have to be. But since there's so many of them up, it just can't, they can be anywhere. You know what I mean? But a 
frag? Oh, smoke. Huh. And, and they've got a good line across the map, so there's really no angle he could take that they're not going to see him coming from. Unless he could be real sneaky. I like the smoke idea, though. I think he was trying to cut out Rival Man's vision. Yeah. But, uh, man, that sucker went way farther than he wanted it to. Yeah. Well, hell, like, maybe you could go scavenge some bodies. He's got time. Maybe you could find a shitload of smokes and get something going. That's what I would try to do. <laughs> I know. He's going to run into Rybo. Oh. The dangler's tied up 2-2. Two, two. They're hanging in there. They're hanging on. Not letting Mob Squad run away with this one. Yep. You know, it's funny on this map is you don't see caps that much. It's just so volatile. People are dying so quick that you just you don't see it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, they're... I, I don't know if I've played a map on here where the caps come out. I don't think I have, honestly. <laughs> I think it can happen. I don't think I've ever even tried to cap. I think I've died any time I got close. You know? I think on some of these south objectives it's possible, like the one in the middle. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I think maybe I've seen it there, but... Yeah, it's such a challenge to try and get anything going on this map. <laughs> Let's see what they can do. And this objective, to, too, yeah. I, I like... Oh man, there's so many fun new spots I've been learning from... Watching the watching the series, watching the league cast. It's really good. If you want to get better, you gotta watch the league. No, it's true. You learn I mean you learn spots you never would have thought of before. Just some people see things you don't see. Yeah. So Alright, here we go. I wonder if Danglers are gonna be looking for a cap here. They've been playing so well. Yeah. If you could go ahead and just shut this map down right now. With this objective, too, I feel like maybe there's a chance you can get behind that crate. If you can get behind yeah. this red crate, you're in business. Well, they have nothing to lose by trying. They're tied up on this round. They won the series already. Might as well go for that cap. I wonder if we're going to have another early tunnel exchange. Nola might hear. Oh. Here's them. Um... You hear that? Oh, ho, 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 ho. That's legit. I don't... Uh-oh. Nola might doesn't expect mechs there. Oh. One one. Where did somebody get that rifle from? Who doesn't have a rifle? <laughs> you see that? Uh. Looks like Lueller is just pistoling it right now. Okay, yeah, Lueller gave the shield guy his. He's rifle. been doing that yeah. every round. <laughs> and then whenever they get a pick, he calls him over, and Lueller tries to run over and grab the rifle. And then Tendo grabs Semper. <laughs> Lueller is trying go. to suppress with a pistol over in that other angle. STB house grabs one. <laughs> People are dying all over the place. There's a lot of things happening. Okay, Lueller is down by Nade. Squigookin. Squig is watching. Grabs oh, Nintendo. Danglers are in trouble. Another oh. goes down. Rybo here on the corner. Can Squig end it? I think Squig knows where he is. Oh, okay. Here we go. Wow, Squig. <laughs> going ham right there. I think he got the last kill with the pistol, too. Dude, that was a lot of action in like 20 seconds. Yeah, these guys kind of getting fed up with this series. <laughs> Just saying, let's go at it. This is interesting. There's just almost, there's just no, nobody's playing slow. Nope. There are no breaks in the action on this map, you know? <laughs> I don't know why we're taking any time even between rounds. Everyone might as well just start the round and sprint at each other right at the bat. Every single round. It seems like the doing. general strategy. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Sprint up, listen a little bit, run up again, listen. You know, that's like the formula. I mean, these guys are getting down tunnel here so fast. Oh, I know. I don't even know what you do against that, though, honestly. Like, maybe strap a nade. Just I like what... I don't remember who it was, but someone threw a nade in there, made them come out of the tunnel, and uh, got stumpy that way. Yeah, I've... you definitely can't like wait outside there and wait for them to do something, or you will die. Yeah. <laughs> Here we go. This could be map point for Mob Squad. They're up three two. Let's 
see what danglers end up opting to do here though it's so funny like one of the easier objective one of the to sit back and defend really passively and these guys are just playing so forward i mean look at this my executioner and nintendo I getting know, up into these middle buildings <laughs> right away oh man dude Executioner's in the tunnel. Nintendo's stepping up right in the middle. Here comes the nades. Oh. <laughs> uh, no, I might have had a bad nade. Landed on the roof of that. Ooh, Stumpy gets caught by a frag on the back end, but he'll be resible. Yep. Interesting that they... Okay, now he's doing it. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, this is a nice mob squad spread, but Poopachu getting killed by Nintendo. And here they come. They're moving in as a unit. Oh, man. Dangos has a good spread in the middle right there. This is going to be rough. STV House has managed to push up, though. Yep. Might be able to catch Stumpy here in a rotation. Or Luella. I guess Luella should be looking right at STV House. Ooh. Another, another mob goes down. Gosh, and all three. Oh, yeah. Okay. I instantly, mob squad get dropped, and it's all up to our Semper on this other side who gets shot by Stumpy. A fast, uh, have a quick fast win from Dang. The whole team died in about five seconds. <laughs> which sounds like cargo. <laughs> yeah, sounds like cargo once the nades start to roll. Well, I think with the opening, like, they could have had. I guess an opening if they had smoked a little bit more because you saw Danglers was up on the midline right away. Yeah, and I think it's just... <sighs> yeah, it's kind of odd. If you do pl end up playing it too slow, you almost get punished for not being up into these positions early enough. Yep. If you sit back and... Because with the way they were... No, go ahead. If you sit back in that cargo, yeah, you just don't have... You don't have any angles. You're not looking at anything. Yeah. You're letting everybody else get the angles that... They can get that'll catch you exposed. Yeah, and you saw Danglers. They had moved up to the midline, and there really wasn't any gaps in that defense. So, yeah. Ugh. That's a tall order. Yeah, we'll see how they. We have Mob Squad answer with this one. They decide to sit back and play passive, or. Again, we're back at this objective, the first one they started off with. I feel like this is probably the easier one to defend. And they did play this defensively very passive like they were yep. all way in the backside of this map no one was up in the cargo bins i would love to see nolamite get a flank or something because he's very good at that if he sees the opening man so you're gonna be doing work on this map nine kills for his team oh. rival man with eight wow i guess you just get that in cargo we are at three three they played the most rounds they can and it's just a kill heavy map it is man it is All right, match point. Early smokes, the crossing. Everyone's safe. Man, in this middle wow. side, Squigookin is pushed up really aggressively. These smokes causing a nice dosage of lag. Yep. <laughs> little trade going on in the tunnels here, in Executioner and. Whatever he was shooting at, not landing anything. Check out Lueller moving in. He's going to cap if he can. He's already right near the objective. Oh, wow. I hope they have eyes on. Dude, they don't see him. He's capping. Poopachu didn't spot Poopachu him. Come in. Him. Oh, no. Oh, man. They tried to play that aggressively, and mobs and Danglers just rolled right in underneath their noses. They had guys way back here. Trying to come in Man. for flanks and yeah, I think maybe Mob Squad just kind of over it with that last round, but it's crazy, man. Just like the, what Luella did, he he moved into the middle of those two buildings and then he knew he moved right to that propane tank and ducked behind it. No one could see him there. He didn't even have to worry. <laughs> but... <laughs> that was really just like he if he if Pubachu was just looking, if he had just been standing up, he would have seen him. You know, he would yeah. have seen them go into that tank, and it would have been no, shut it's, down. No, it's crazy, man. The the just the the chance of that and the positioning, that's 
Like, I have to give it to Lower because the, the positioning on that is, is really good. But yeah, I think Pooch, you could have seen him. Oh, man, that's rough. Jeez. And Dangler has come out with all three maps. Start off... Well, they're not starting off their season, right? They've played maps already, right? I think they've done a challenge Yes, they have played one place or map. This would be their second. I don't know if they did a challenge oh, okay. or not. Um, so, yeah, they're feeling good now coming into this season. They're looking good. They're definitely a team to watch out for. And, uh, yeah, I think Mob Squad can bounce back from this one. They're going to have to do a challenge and see see what they can do. But for sure. they're going to be facing G-Men on Saturday. That'll be another test of their skill set. So should be kind of fun. I'm looking forward to that map. I, I'm, I should be playing in it. So it should be a lot of fun. I hope to. Yeah, it should be a really good match. And, I, you know, Mob Squad, I, I would never count them out. Yeah. They're going to learn from this. And I think that with the roster shakeups, they're going to find their footing in this season just fine. Yeah, they're not going to let caps and pushes like that happen on them very often in the future, I imagine. So, yeah. Hats off to Danglers. And uh, that was a fun series to cast. Thunder, I think that is going to be it for us. Thank you for co-casting with me. Oh, yeah, man. Thanks for having me. A lot of fun. I had a good, good time. I had a good time. And we will be heading out uh, Friday. I do not know if any matches are being cast. But Saturday, I think we have some, and Sunday, we have a whole host of rounds getting cast, so keep your eyes peeled for that. Uh, there is going to be a lot of, there's going to be four games cast at least this weekend, so. Yeah, come follow the channel, get involved, go, go join the Master League, create a team. Thanks for tuning in, everyone, and uh, we should see you Saturday. Everyone have a good night. Bye!